Hello everyone. Welcome back to my math channel MathWeb. Let us start question number 2 from Kids and Excel A level exam for pure math 3. This exam is taken in May June session year 2024. Paper reference code is WMA13/01. g of x equals 2x square minus 5x plus 8 divided by x minus 2. Write g of x in the form ax plus b plus c over x minus 2 where a, b and c are integers to be found. Actually this is the improper fraction and all improper fraction can be converted into the mixed number. It is the mixed number. This is the whole number here and this is the fraction. What is the improper fraction like 8 over 5? If you divide 8 by 5, you know by using long division method like uh, for low grades, I am teaching you this one. Uh, so how to convert this one into the mixed number? Let me tell you that. 8 there is 1 only 1 times 5 is 5 we subtract here and we get the answer as 3 this is the whole number right this is the whole number and this becomes a fraction so you can change this one into 1 plus 3 over 5 actually this method we will apply over here we will use the long division this is the dividend and this is the divisor and uh, but we will get the whole number like this this is the whole number and uh, remainder will be written up and divisor will be in the denominator. Same method like this. Let us use a long division to solve this question. 2x square minus 5x plus 8. For the first part, 2x square minus 5x plus 8 is divided by x minus 2. Now you will multiply x with such a number to get the first value here. So the number is 2x only. 2x multiplied 2x you get here 2x square. And then this 2x is multiplying by the next number that is two, negative 2. Negative 2 multiplied 2 will give you negative 4x. And then by rule of uh, division we change the signs here. Do not forget to change the signs. This will cancel out for sure. Negative 5x plus 4x will give you minus x only. And then drop this 8 down. Then we will multiply x by such number to get x here, negative x here. So that number will be minus 1. So minus 1 multiply x will give you minus x. And minus 1 multiply negative 2 is giving you plus 2. Then we change the signs. This will cancel out. 8 minus 2 is 6. Therefore, we can write this fraction as 2x squared minus 5x plus 8 divided by x minus 2 could be written as this is the whole number right beside the fraction 2x minus 5 plus and this will be the fraction 6 over x minus 2 if you compare this one with the, this given fraction this one this form ax plus b plus c over x minus 2 this is exactly in that form where coefficient of x is a uh, this b is the other value let's say Therefore, we can write as values of a will be equals to 2 and b is equals to negative 1 and c will be equals to 6. If you compare this expression, this result with that one, we will get the values of a, b and c. That's all. So first part is done. Hence, using algebraic integration to show that g of x limit is from 4 to 8, dx equals to alpha plus beta log 3 where alpha and beta are integers to be found. Now instead of integrating this function, this function we will integrate the result. This is the result, we will integrate this one for the next part. For second part, limit is from 4 to 8, g of x, dx could, g of x could be replaced by this result, that is 2x minus 1 plus 6 over x minus 2 and limit is 4 to 8 dx. Here we will apply the rules of integration. Let me tell you the rule for integrations here like f of uh, integration of x to the power n dx is equals to we increase the power by 1 n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 and plus c is this is the one rule we could apply over here and uh, integration of 1 is always equals to x. We can apply this rule over here. And there is a very important formula is coming up here. 
uh, you should memorize this formula if in the numerator there is derivative and in the denominator it is a function like denominator is a function and numerator is its derivative this rule this formula is very very important function in the numerator there is derivative we take the log of the denominator log of f of x this formula you have to memorize plus c so these three formulas we will uh, use over here to integrate this function because it is the definite integral whenever the limits are given we are not writing c there okay c is only written if the limit is not given now the limit is given so therefore we will not use c here we will use the basic formulas only like uh, x to the power n plus 1 over divided by n plus 1 so apply here the same formula we can write over here answer for this one will be 2x to the power 2 divided by 2 and minus 1 integration will be minus x apply the limit so it will be 4 to 8 and uh, here because the derivative of x minus 2 is 1 so better you write this way keep 6 outside and write over here 1 over x minus 2 dx and limit is 4 to 8 got it you can separate like this now this is the function this is the function and what is the deriv derivative of this function that is 1 only and this is the derivative 1 is the derivative of x minus 2 therefore you can take the log of x minus 2 and uh, at the in the next step you can apply the limit to the whole answer instead of uh, applying the limit separately you can apply this limit to the whole answer so first value is x square and second value is x and the next one will be 6 log x minus 2 and apply the limit over here that will be from 4 to 8 now plug in the values you know first we apply the upper limit so it will be 8 square minus 8 plus 6 log 8 minus 2 we can write as 6 only then minus of formula we will apply the lower limit now 4 square is 16 minus 4 plus 6 log 4 minus 2 is 2 and in the, in the next step you can solve them 64 minus 8 will be 56 plus 6 log 6 minus 16 minus 4 is 12 and this minus will make this plus minus so it will be minus 6 log 2 these two values will be solved together 56 and 12 and between these two logs 6 is common in the next step 56 minus 12 is uh, 44 and 6 is common between the log values so plus 6 is common and right inside the bracket log 6 minus log 2 then simplifying this one 44 plus 6 log there is a formula like if you remember log x minus log y is equals to log x over y if two numbers are dividing we subtract with the logarithm okay it is the rule of the logarithm so we can simplify these these two by using the law of logarithm so these two values will divide each other 6 divided by 2 and we get the answer as 44 plus 6 log 3 now you, if you compare these values with the given what whatever given the question we should write our answer in this form we already got here log 3 and alpha and beta we can we can write the values for alpha and beta from here alpha will be equals to 44 and beta is equals to 6 so this is the answer for question number 2 question number 2 is done if you have any question please write in the comment box thank you